two teams with pleasing weekend wins to build on meet at Valley Parade. Bradford defeated Accrington Stanley 3-0. While Forest Green's bid to escape the drop continued with a 2-0 victory over Walsall. Tonight, Rovers are looking for their fourth win in seven games. It took them the first 30 league games of the season to win their previous four. Bradford unchanged from the weekend, despite rumours that Tyreek Wright, who scored twice in that win, would be out with an injury. Alex Gilead makes his 200th appearance for the Bantams. One change for Rovers, Tyree Zomatoy comes in, with veteran Richard Keogh missing out with a calf injury. The Colchester's game tonight called off due to a waterlogged pitch. This is Forest Green's chance to climb out of the bottom two. It's a tall order, though, to... Uh, come to this part of Yorkshire and land a victory. They're on the front foot straight away and they've forced an early corner. There was an appeal for a penalty there as well. Nothing doing from the referee, but Forest Green do have a corner kick inside the first minute of the game. Dominic Thompson has gone across to take it. Forest Green not over committing at the middle, but in it comes and Deutsch gets the header, it's 1-0. Well, would you believe it, inside the first 40... Five seconds or so, and Forest Green Rovers, mounting this unlikely revival to stay in the division, have taken the lead against Bradford City. Routine stuff, Dominic Thompson's corner, met by the late arriving Christian Deutsch for 1-0. An unlikely start, a real shot for Bradford. And can they respond? Forest Green now with something to cling on to, but uh, that's a clumsy challenge by the centre half conceding the free kick. Ryan Innes, the guilty man. And it comes, keeper gets a punch on it. Helped on its way again by Charlie McCann. It's not entirely clear though. Bradford will have the chance to return it, and they knock it out wide. It's a neat turn by Lewis Richards. And Richards delivers the cross all the way in. And at the near post, it's Tyreek Wright arriving. Couldn't quite make clean contact. Looking to follow his two goals at the weekend in that win over Accrington. Richards did all the hard work with the cross. Wright arriving, just looking to scoop it on towards goal. Vicente Reyes did just enough. Here come Bradford again, who've been bright since the shock of conceding that early goal. Wright. Retaining possession well, setting up the chance for his captain, Smallwood. Outside is the runner from uh, deep, but the uh, shot is blocked by the Forest Green defence. Throw taken quickly, Bradford looking to up the urgency. In it comes, Ryan Innes gets a touch on it for Forest Green, but it's not clear. Clark Hewitt will whip it back in. It's an almighty scramble. Wright is there again, Innes can't clear it. And in the end, Forest Green do hack it away, anywhere will do. They didn't know too much about that opportunity, and the danger isn't really averted yet. Reithaus delivers it again, neatly controlled by Wright, but this time Reyes is out to smother the danger. Cross whipped in, that's a neat touch from Wright, but it wouldn't come down for him to get the shot away before the keeper arrived. Here's the earlier moment. Cross whipped in, I'm not quite sure what Ryan Innes was trying to do there with the header. But Wright couldn't get a shot away, and nor in the end could Brad Halliday, and Forrest Green hacked it away downfield. It's been all Bradford since Forrest Green took that very early lead, but they haven't been able to equalise as yet. And they could find themselves in trouble on the break here. That's neatly tied it up by Kieran Kelly, but his clearance isn't a particularly impressive one. And here, Forrest Green have a chance to get forward again, and here is Deutsch! Free header, the chance to add to his early goal, but he can't take it. A rare opportunity for Forrest Green towards the end of this first half. Forest Green will sense a really important victory, a long way to go, of course. Such an unlikely revival in their form under Steve Cottrell, but can they keep it going for this second half? And McAllister does well. And here's an opportunity at the near post, and it's dragged across the face of goal. And it's Omatoy back in the side tonight, venturing forward into the penalty area. Found neatly, controlled it well, and created the angle. It was a tricky one for the shot, flashed it across the face of goal. 
Bradford know that a second goal conceded will give them a real mountain to climb as they bid for this equaliser. They're building patiently, but Forest Green are organised. Smallwood looking for options in front of him. Not immediately obvious. It's all a bit pedestrian from the home side, but now they go long, looking for Andy Cook inevitably. Here's a chance for them to get it into the middle again with Odor, who cuts inside and gets the shot away. Punched back in towards the middle of the goal by Reyes. Mark Odor finding some room for the shot on the edge of the penalty area. It was well hit, it was on target, pretty central though. Reyes was able to uh, punch it clear, the defence did the rest. Smallwood still directing operations in the midfield, the Bradford City captain. Here comes the cross again. That is uh, scooped behind for a corner kick. Harvey Bunker with the clearance. Bradford now needing to play with real urgency. And it comes again, and it's met by the header onto the roof of the net by Kieran Kelly. Closest Bradford have come in this second half. Cross whipped in, met at the near post. And the header landing on the roof of the net, but crucially not inside it from Bradford's point of view. Go along again, Forest Green are well marshalled at the back now and they hook it away. And now they can break forward again, McCann has found the runner. Deutsch is uh, willing to get going again and here's an opportunity. Lavinia, his control let him down, here's McCann, he'll try the shot. And it's way off target. Well that was a really good opportunity for Forest Green on the break and they didn't make anything like enough of it. Lavinia's touch here is poor. Doesn't get a chance to get a shot away, but does tee up McCann in some room. Who blazes it over the crossbar. Bradford still probing. Gilead on his 200th appearance for the club. Would love to uh, create the equaliser. And here's a chance delivered to the near post. Once again, Walker reaching for it. Can't direct it on target. Last ditch defending again from Forest Green. And it's turned behind by Innes for the corner, which will be delivered now. In it comes from Kavanagh, goes deep. Forrest Green do well. They had it out of danger. Here's Wright, who will loft it back in towards the penalty area. Back across the face of goal! What a scramble! Ray has got a touch to it. Andy Cook with arms aloft, did that cross the line. The cross comes back in, and now Forrest Green will hook it downfield. But they are riding their luck at the back, there's no doubt about it. Lofted back in by Wright, headed back across the face of goal. Walker's there, Cook is there, but crucially, Reyes did just enough. In comes the corner, Innes once again, not for the first time, wins the header. It's still not clear though. Bunker with the challenge, does enough and can clear his lines downfield. And that is an awkward touch there and a chance here, McCann is away. Kieran Kelly has to get back to him and turns inside and he's brought him down and that will be a penalty. Would you believe it? In stoppage time. And Forrest Green have the chance to wrap up victory here. Kieran Kelly, his touch let him down. McCann was away and he's just caught his trailing lead. And down he goes. Well, Christian Deutsch, who gave Forrest Green the lead inside the first minute, steps up in the 93rd minute to make sure of the win. It's 2-0 Forest Green, deep in stoppage time. And they have done enough, you feel, for a successful evening. Such an unlikely one. Beaten 3-0 at home back in November when these sides met. But now closing in on a crucially important win. And Christian Deutsch, his second for the night from the spot, surely makes the point safe. Free kick is thumped downfield and there is the final whistle and you can see what it means to those Forest Green players. They've made it four wins in seven games, Steve Cottrell's side. They're out of the bottom two. It's a real setback for Bradford. Their first defeat in six league meetings against Forest Green. But Rovers were good value for the victory. A goal inside the first minute from Christian Deutsch, who then added a penalty in stoppage time. Final score, Bradford nil, Forest Green Rovers two.